Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Christiana, and you're welcome to Christiana Flourishing, where we motivate, we share God's word, and we build ourselves strongly in the word of God. So today we are discussing seven things the word does for you. The word of God does for you. And before you watch this video, I post a video on how to grow in the word of God. Seven ways how. You should grow in the word of God. So now we're going to discuss what that word of God that you have heard, that you have learned, seven ways, seven things it does for you. So number one, the word is your life. Yes, you should know that the word creates you and gives birth to you. Therefore, the word is your life. First Peter chapter 1, verse 23. It says, Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abide forever. And you can study more other scriptures like John chapter 1 verse 3, and John chapter 1 verse 12, James chapter 1 verse 8. You study them by yourself. Number two thing the word does for you. Number two says the word builds you. Yes, the word builds you. It is not any information that you receive that builds your spirit. Only God's word can build your spirit. Acts chapter 20 verse 32, he tells us, And now, brethren, I command you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all them which are sanctified. You see that. So the word of God builds you. Number three, the word delivered to you, your inheritance. This doesn't mean that the word is allowing to your inheritance it is like a lawyer that provides a court the necessary documentation of a state that claim on what is really yours god already give you your inheritance we had the hair the joint hair in christ but through the word you will discover your inheritance and take possession of it so this is why the word is very important. If you don't have the word on you, you will never know your inheritance. It's like a big guy, a, a, a man or a woman who holds an estate. They never know that this estate belongs to him or her. I never took the document to say this estate is for me. So get the word of God. It's very important. And number four. The word cleans you. Yes. Listening to the word cleans your soul and help you to get rid of yuck, dirty and fear. You pick up from your environment and make you holy. So the word of God cleans us. We hate so much every day. Telling me what you listen to in the radio, in the TV. Things, fear comes to your heart. You know, a lot of things happened. But the word of God will cleanse you from all those fear. John chapter 15 verse 3, he says, Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. The word you have heard. As you receive the word, as you hear God's word, even now that you're listening to me, listen to this word, the word is being cleaning you. Because this is a word that cleans and protects and bless. So let's go to number five. I hope you're excited. If you're still following me, watching this video now, and you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the red button there. So subscribe and put the bell on top to hold. And whenever we upload a video, you will be notified that you don't miss any videos from this channel. Number five, it says, the word is food for your spirit, nourishing you. Is that not amazing? Man is a spirit. Being, his spirit come from God and can wholly be sustained by the word of God. Matthew chapter four, verse four, it says, but he answered and said, it is written, Man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. 
You see how the word of God is food, it nourishes you. And this is what we as children of God should live by. Don't find yourself living by another man's word. Rather, find yourself living by the word of God. Let him nourish you. Let him be God the best in you. You can study more other further scriptures like chapter 6, verse 35 and John chapter 6, verse 37 to 51. Number 6. The word gives you light and direction. You can never get confused in life if you know the word of God. Hallelujah. We will never get confused in life when we know the word of God. I love that. So you need to get the word of God so you don't be confused in life. Psalm 119 verse 105. It says, The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Is that not amazing? The word of God gives us light. It will direct you in every area of your life. In whatever decision you want to make. You can study further scriptures more too, if you want to know more. Psalm 119 verse 130 and John chapter 8 verse 12. Number 7. Number 7. The word prolong your days. Hallelujah. The word of God prolong your days. The word give you wisdom for life. Teach you the principle of the kingdom and convey God's might to you. He show you what to do and how to live. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 45. For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life. And through these things you shall prolong your days in the land where help ye go over Jordan to possess it. So the word of God will prolong your days. It will get you to your direction. He will bring you to where God has already planned for you. Hello friends, I hope you have learned from these seven things. Lastly, I am going to say a word written by a beautiful man of God, a wonderful man of God. He says, what God wants to give you in your life is not a job, business, money or house. What he wants to give you is the word of God in your spirit. It will make you what he talks about. Go for the word. That is a word from Pastor Chris. So determine that you will go for the word this year. Attend your service, your church, your meetings, if you have anyone in your churches. And be a participant of it. Serve God with your life. Work with him. Let him direct you. And I believe you, I tell you, we will have a testimony concerning those things that God has said concerning us. Remember, he said, no of my word will return to me void. Not even this word that you have heard now. I will see you next time in my videos. And if you love short videos like this, if it motivates you, inspire you, encourage you, please leave your comment on the comment section. Tell us more and encourage us or say what things you don't like so that we can improve ourselves in this channel by the grace of god i will see you next time have a beautiful and amazing month bye bye